yes, I have, but I don't know too much about it. I know one of my art teachers had about it. Uh, definitely heard of it. I've got to admit, knowledge of it is very, very limited. Yeah, yes, we have. Well, I have. <laughs> I have, yeah, yeah. as well. Imagine hearing this sound every day, every week, of every year, for as long as you live. For an estimated 6 billion Brits, this doesn't have to be imagined. The condition of tinnitus plagues 1 in 8 people around the world and is usually overlooked. There's no precise definition of what tinnitus is, due to scarce knowledge on what causes the condition. According to the British Tinnitus Association, the definition of tinnitus at the moment may not be adequate to what tinnitus really is. However, the best way to describe this condition is defined as the constant sound within the ear with no way to stop or relax it. For many like Harry and John, every day is a struggle. been diagnosed for two years it's yeah it's been a long two years but it it, it somehow it feels like you're you don't know when you've been diagnosed with it. it you kind of lose track of time you kind of kind of lose a sense of when it started because it's become a, a part of your life which you can't really remember when it when it started i've had tinnitus for approximately seven years the action was uh <clears throat> i was uh, i was very really, you know i was annoyed uh, when i i first realized i got it i was annoyed with myself for doing all the things that maybe could have caused it like operating heavy machinery swimming in lakes that might look clean the first six months is a huge challenge that's totally different to what how you describe living with it i think the process the things that happen and the things that you go through before um and during and after it's diagnosed and those nights especially um in that first phase are, are you know they're really they're really challenging they, they they're hard you know no one can describe the, the importance of having peace and quiet in their life. At the beginning, I, I mean, to be honest, at the beginning, I thought, because I, I mean, for the for the, my entire life, I've had um, tinnitus come in and out of my ears, and that that's been normal. Like, I've had that since birth, but never constant. Um, like it is now and now like it has been for the last two years um it was it was weird at first because i thought it was gonna go but it never did it it, it hits you like a ton of bricks because you you realize that you're gonna have to probably live with it for the rest of your life the sound of tinnitus differs from person to person ranging from low to high-pitched tones, from one to multiple tones, as well as variances in volume. The causes of the condition differ from person to person, with hearing loss from sources such as loud music being one, to genetic heritage being another. Yes, it's pretty much a single tone. It feels like it's coming in my left ear. Um, it's a... Uh, well, what could you say? High pitched, electrical sounding, uh, like you might get if, I don't know, you've not switched the TV off and the volume's down and you might be picking up on some kind of <clears throat> something and thinking, well, why isn't that switched off? Um, it, it can change and suddenly, occasionally, it becomes suddenly really loud. 
Um, <clears throat> but usually that's only for about a minute. Um, and I think sometimes I think that it's 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 maybe gone, but then usually that's uh, just the background noise. Um, I think it's probably also connected to just <clears throat> ear, my ear, because I think your ear changes with the temperature and um, and things like that. Yeah. I I currently I hear a um, a low pitch tone um, as well as a high pitch tone. Um, I started off with the low pitch one uh, in my right ear, um, and then it went to my left ear as well. And uh, I had that one for about a year, and then I, I have a high pitch tone uh, sometimes. Um, I mean, it, it really depends on which which tone is dominant. Is um, so which ones I can hear over the other one. Um, uh, currently, I can only hear the low pitch tone, but sometimes I can hear the high pitch. Um, I'd say probably that the low pitch tone is the more um, the better one out of the two. The mere fact that so many people have the condition and so little is known about treatments is a shock to many suffering from tinnitus. As the condition is generally described as disrupting in the best cases, this may be due to the underrepresentation of tinnitus within the media or society as a whole. I mean, tinnitus in the media, it's like, it's not really focused upon, uh, even though a lot I know a lot of people in the media have got it, like, um, uh, What's his name uh, for Good Morning Britain? Uh, Schofield. Um, yeah, he's he's got it, and I know Keanu Reeves has also got it, but they don't really talk about it. Um, but uh, I think I think it's not really it's not really portrayed because it's like it's not an outside sound; it's an in 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 inner sound. As a life-changing condition. Tinnitus is as well the cause of different mood changes, depression and anxiety, among other mental health problems. The long process of diagnosis and the reality that the condition may persist forever only adds to the worsening of mental health. So yeah, it, it, affects, it affects my everyday life because I... I constantly hear it. I it, there's no there's no there's no stopping of it. Uh, there's no no pause button, if you will. There's no 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 end to it. It, it affects my day to day. Every, well, everything like I, I can hear it constantly. Uh, I was quite fearful. I went through a stage of being quite frightened, uh, thinking, what if I don't overcome this? You know, what if, what if this thing eats away at my mind and I can't take any more of it um, that was quite frightening um, so over overcoming that kind of fear was uh, was uh, a challenge and I think yeah that was a challenge to me um, and uh, it, it's so it's difficult to describe that once you get over that feeling of fear, um, I, I just think you do feel a, a load better. You feel more in control, and it's just—I um, hate to compare it, but um, you there are you recognise it as a disability in inverted commas, and you just think, well, there are other people with more serious disabilities that are with them for 24 hours a day and they have overcome them so you just you that's what you draw on you just feel that you're you can do it you have to do it um i think i've always been brought up to in the end to rise to a challenge and i think that's you know that that that's just what you've got to do um yeah so yeah, it's very. Uh, there are practical challenges, but I think probably the main one is is your personal psychological challenge to just overcome those 
feelings of um, disorientation and fear and uh, uh, maybe anger. And maybe, maybe, maybe that kind of anger came out in different ways as well that I hadn't realised. Um, it's only now that I'm kind of uh, reflecting on it that maybe, you know, maybe uh, I realised that it, it, it can come out like that, yeah. With groups like the British Tinnitus Association funding the research into the condition for the future of tinnitus, coupled with the potential interest from US drug companies, the horizon for a cure in the future is hopeful for many and will be life-changing for the majority of people, both young and old. <laughs>